What's going on Jets fans? Welcome into NYJ today. I'm happy to announce a brand new series to the channel called Keys to Success. In these video uploads, I'm going to be talking about different aspects of the New York Jets that I believe need to be great in order for the team to have success during the 2021 NFL season. Volume 1, I'm going to be breaking down defensive coordinator Jeff Ulbrich and offensive coordinator Mike LaFleur. Let's get after it. And just quickly before we start the video, I just want to ask all of my not subscribed members who are watching my videos, and there are a ton of you who are watching these videos but are not subscribed, I would just ask that you please consider subscribing to the channel, especially if you're liking the videos and if you're watching the videos each time I upload them to the channel. It's one of the biggest things that you can do to support the channel. It motivates me to continue to create more content just like this video. So I would really greatly appreciate that. And also, if you haven't, we do do a live stream every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Would love to have you come hang out with us. Feel free to leave us a voicemail or to call in live to the channel. We would love interacting with you guys. So I have Robert Sala on the screen right now, and that's because I believe that these two men, Jeff Ulbrich and Mike LaFleur, are the ones that are going to have to be responsible for passing the message along that Robert Sala wants to instill in the football team. Whatever beliefs that he has, whatever philosophies that he has, these two men must communicate that with the other coaches and with the players on the football team. Again, Robert Sala is not calling plays on defense. Robert Sala is not calling plays on offense. Robert Sala is the overseer and the leader of the football team. And so these two men on game day are going to be playing a critical, critical role in the team's success in 2021. So I kind of wanted to highlight that there. We're not overlooking Robert Sala. We're just kind of emphasizing the importance that these two men will play in the success of the Jets. What's the old saying? A picture is worth a thousand words. I think that this one does that and more. To say that offensive coordinator Mike LaFleur is going to play a critical role in the success of this franchise moving forward is an understatement. He is the key, I think, to being to unlocking Zach Wilson's greatest potential and to meeting those expectations. Zach Wilson was the number two overall pick in the NFL draft. This kid needs to become a star in the National Football League, and I think that a lot of the burden is going to be falling on the 34-year-old shoulders of Mike LaFleur. He's never called plays in the National Football League, but he's been a part of some really good coaching staffs in the National Football League, and his experiences, I'm hoping, will lead to him not only being able to coach Zach Wilson, but to be also to be able to call some great plays on game day and to make sure that the defense is never able to stay even keeled and to understand what's coming next. In doing my research for this video, I actually came away really impressed with Mike LaFleur. He has a very well-rounded background in coaching, and his resume is impressive. He has had some success, and I just think it's really important that we highlight some of these things really quickly in the video. So he started his career, obviously, at the college level. He started as an offensive assistant back in 2009 with Elmhurst College. He then moved to St. Joseph's College from 2010 to 2012 as the offensive coordinator. He then went to Davidson College in 2013. He was the offensive coordinator the quarterback's coach, and the receiver's coach, and this was in 2013. He then got his big shot in the NFL as an intern for the Cleveland Browns, and he was coaching the offensive line in 2014. Then he moved to the Atlanta Falcons from 2015 to 2016. He was the offensive assistant for wide receivers and for tight ends during his tenure with the Atlanta Falcons. And then we all know about his big shot with the San Francisco 49ers. He has, over the three years span, uh, actually four-year span, I apologize, from 2017 to 2020, he coached the wide receivers and he was the passing game specialist and the passing game coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers. One of the coolest stats that I found in my research was is that since 2018, with LaFleur as the passing game coordinator, the 49ers were one of just seven teams in the league to have three different quarterbacks start at least seven games. All three quarterbacks, Jimmy Garoppolo, Nick Mullins, and C.J. Beathard finished with at least an 87.2 passer rating. That made San Francisco the only team of those seven teams to have all three quarterbacks register that rating or higher. So, again, what does this say? 
I think it says that he's a very good coach. I think it, it means that he can work with any different type of quarterback and different ability levels. And he's able to get the most out of them. And I think that's what we have to kind of look at here is that he's not only able to coach quarterbacks, he's able to get the offense to produce even when the best quarterback maybe isn't on the field. And we all know that Adam Gase did not do that during his tenure with the New York Jets. The last thing I want to highlight with Mike LaFleur is just the fact that he came from the Shanahan system. He came from under Kyle Shanahan. I think that's a really big deal. You know, he learned from one of the best, if not the best, offensive coordinators and play callers in the National Football League. So learning under him, I think, is a great, great advantage. And we have somebody like that now on the staff. And again, this is something that, you know, maybe not enough people are talking about, in my opinion. By having Mike LaFleur come over here, I think that the emphasis is actually going to be very much so on the running game and getting it going for the New York Jets. The running game has not been successful for quite some time now. And by drafting Elijah Vera Tucker, by drafting Michael Carter, the running back from UNC, I think that we're going to see not only an improvement just because of the personnel, but because of the coaching, because of the scheme, our offense is going to flow because of the running game, we have to build the running game and then play off of that. And that's why I think Zach Wilson and he can really take this offense to another level. And I have to say, I, I think if Mike LaFleur pans out, I think we are in for an absolute treat in 2021. Similar to Mike LaFleur, Jeff Olberg is going to be one of the keys to success in 2021, just strictly based on the idea that this team is still extremely young. Think about all the de young defensive players that are on this team that are either rookies or only, you know, entering their second or third years in the National Football League. Jeff Ulbrich is going to play a pivotal role in developing these players. Everybody wants to point out that, you know, the play calling. The play calling is obviously very, very important, but coaching the hell out of these players and getting the best out of them and maximizing their talents is truly the most important aspect of being a good coach and a great coach. So... When you think about guys like Quinn and Williams, he's going into his third year. I still don't think he's met his highest potential and his, you know, what he can be in the NFL. I think he can be even better. And it's going to be up to Jeff Ulbrich to get the best out of him. He needs to get Carl Lawson to get more sacks. You know, Carl Lawson is a pressure and a quarterback hit machine. But we want to see some sacks for Carl Lawson too. And it's going to be up to him to get him and motivate him and coach him to get some more sacks. We've got guys in the linebacker crew that we just drafted, Hamza Nazruddin. We've got Jamie and Sherwood. We've got DBs like Ashton Davis. We've got Bryce Hall, Brandon Eccles, Michael Carter II. All of these guys need coaching. And I think the, the big thing that we need to keep in mind is, is in order to have success, and that's what this whole video is about, in order to have success in 2021, Jeff Ulbrich and Mike LaFleur are a critical keys to success. Prior to the Jets, Ulbrich spent six seasons with the Atlanta Falcons, the first five as the team's linebackers coach, before he added the title of assistant head coach in 2020. In 2020, following Raheem's, Raheem Morris's move to interim head coach in week six, he then became the interim defensive coordinator for the final 11 games. Under Ulbrich, the defense improved in every category, total defense, scoring defense, passing defense, rush defense, third down defense, and red zone defense, while also producing sacks and interceptions at a higher rate. Now, we can probably contribute some of that success to Raheem Morris because his background is also in defense, but I don't think there's any reason why we can't give credit where credit is due. Jeff Ulbrich obviously had a hand in the defensive success that the Atlanta Falcons had over those last 11 games, and honestly, I think it got him the job. Um, we also can look at his career as a football player, and this guy did play in the National Football League. He was a linebacker for the San Francisco 49ers from 2000 to 2009, and he went to college at Hawaii. He was a linebacker there from 1998 to 1999. Then he got his shot in the NFL to coach as a special teams assistant for the Seattle Seahawks. He then returned to the college ranks and served as the assistant head coach, linebackers coach, and special teams coach in 2012 to 2013 at UCLA, and he was the defensive coordinator at UCLA in 2014. He then got his jump back to the NFL. From 2015 to 2019, he was the linebackers coach for the Atlanta Falcons, 
and then he served as the assistant head coach, linebackers coach in 2020, and also the interim defensive coordinator as well. So in summary, I feel like offensive coordinator Mike LaFleur and defensive coordinator Jeff Ulbrich may be two of the most in important and critical keys to success for the New York Jets in 2021 and beyond. I think that the, we have such a young football team. We're installing these new schemes. And, you know, these guys are fairly young. I mean, Mike LaFleur is only 34 years old. We need to hope and we need to, you know, keep in mind that there's going to be some growing pains. And we just need to hope, though, that these guys are great teachers, great leaders, great motivators, and can get the very best out of this young squad that the New York Jets have. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching NYJ Today. If you could all do me a favor and jet up the like button, and if you're new here and you've enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. We would greatly appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments about the video. What do you guys think about Jeff Ulbrich and Mike LaFleur as far as being keys to success for the New York Jets in 2021? Go Jets, and I'll see you guys next time.